Greetings and thank you for tuning in today. I just wanted to take this time to share with you some things that I've been going through and right now I am really congested. <laughs> today was my first day really taking care of myself. I went out jogging. I did well actually I ran two laps and the, the rest I just got out on the track and started running. I noticed once I returned inside I had all of this mucus coming out of me like my nose is running and everything I don't know if it's the pollen or what but the Sun was amazing so lately I have not been wearing any lashes as you can see this is me congestion you know no lashes well, I never really wear a cover-up or makeup only like if it's a spectacular day but this is me and I wanted to share today with you my journey of growing my lashes back and right now I am growing my lashes back because I had no lashes I was like addicted to having lashes so with all of this going in and uh, just dealing with my true self I decided not to wear any lashes and hey maybe I may need some because right now I look a little crazy but it's okay I feel amazing so no lashes growing back my lashes and the process what have I been using to uh, get my lashes back and my edges as well I use this sharing the juice with you this is called wild growth here I take a little bit of this rub it on my edges as well as on my eyelashes I also use my vitamin E daily put this on my edges get you some vitamin E I like this kind it smells good too so I use this vitamin E get at any helpful store also I get my Jamaican my black um, uh, my Jamaican black castor oil this one has the coconut smell and I cannot live without my coconut <laughs> get you some coconut oil I said this on many times coconut oil this is all you need for beautiful skin and good good water <laughs> I love me some coconut oil. it makes your body smell good it just helps with all the blemishes that you think you so-called have even out your tone but I love coconut oil I really do it's like one of my favorites also lately my daughter put me on to the aloe vera but I took it to another level so lately we use this aloe vera you see you cut it up cut up the little green edges and so she usually will split it down the middle and rub it all on your face for me I just started eating it and I feel good I want to say it doesn't taste the best of taste so um, it's like an acquired taste, I would say, but try it. It's good for your immune system, good for your body. I love me some blackberries. So even though I'm stuffed up, I mix my blackberries and my olive oil. Go through some berries. You don't have any berries, you're trying to change your health, change your diet. And take you some more blackberries, blueberries. These are blueberries, actually. Raspberries, uh, olive oil. Let's eat it. It doesn't taste the best, but hey. Um, feel, I, I feel amazing. Um, today was my first day actually getting out on the track and running and walking. And it felt really, really good. I think um, my respiratory system has had opened up and all this mucus is like flying out of me. I, I've never had this before. I'm, my daughter's like, it's the pollen, but I'm not sure because I'm never allergic to the pollen. But I'm grateful that this mucus is coming out of me. And uh, that's what I've been doing. Running, changing my, improving my health, growing my lashes back. I'm working on my new book. It's called The Power of Positive Thinking. Or the Power of Positivity. But these are two other books and I've been uh, I wanted to share with you that's in my my library you know I'm always sharing something so the black girls guide to being blissfully feminine so if you're doing your me time this is a great book I had this for a, a minute now but once in a blue moon I'll go back to it so this is one of my books of the month for May and I highly recommend it if you haven't got this copy make sure you get a copy of that also, uh, I've been getting into my herbs, and well, this is you can tell this is like one of my favorite. This is the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. 
that's one of my goals in life is to master the power of using herbs trees and plants to help heal myself as well as sharing that blessing and healing of others so i say get this as well this is a great tool to have in your arsenic make sure you have this in your library encyclopedia of magical herbs Cunningham's Cunningham's Scott Cunning is by Scott Cumming Cunningham. See, so get these two books. That's my two books of the choice, as well as Travel Light, Travel Right. <laughs> you know my travel book. Ten tips to make traveling a better experience. So make sure you grab cop that as well. Um, what else can I share? Uh, I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos because I really don't do the television. But I did catch up on Scandal. Oh my God, I got to watch all those episodes. It was it was crazy. I missed out. I see why everybody was talking about Scandal, Scandal, Scandal. Olivia Pope. I really liked Melly. But anyway, that was something I've been watching. Uh, I got to watch a lot of sci-fi movies. And um, what else did I get to do? Well, basically, that's what I've been doing. Catching up on Scandal, watching a lot of YouTube videos. Um, a lot of 3D to 5D consciousness videos, um, sci-fi videos, journaling, writing down, and now I'm really going hard on um, incorporating my health as far as the herbs, the doing this. Mm, it's kind of weird, but it's like slimy. <laughs> Eating this um, aloe vera. It's not the best sweetness, but I say try it, incorporate it. Um, and that's basically it. I hope you guys, wherever you are, you are doing something with yourself, tapping in, getting the downloads to tap into what it is that you truly love to do and are making a way to make it happen. Um, I think during this time, if you are locked down, you should really figure out what it is you want to do with your life if you don't already know. So some of the questions I ask myself is who am I? Why am I here? Am I serving my true self? Am I serving my true purpose? You know, ask yourself that daily. Once you figure out who you are, what do you want? Every day I hear that voice says to myself, what do you want? Sometimes I tell it just to be quiet. I don't want nothing. I just want to be still, be thankful. But, you know. Do you? Uh, that's my thing. So yeah, those are the things that if you have, now that you have this time to deal with self, you know, do a lot of writing. Uh, listen, take in some sun. I definitely say take in some sunlight and um, begin working on yourself. And if you have been working on yourself, stretch yourself. You know, stretch yourself a little further every day because a lot of people didn't make it. And if you're watching this video, Give thanks that you made it and make a difference in your life. Make a difference in somebody else's life. Be more kind to yourself and to others. You know, sometimes we don't realize that you are enough. You know, you are enough. You really are. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, just be amazing.